So let's discuss Scroll, Spy, Bootstrap, and Angular. So tried using their Scroll, Spy control, had a bunch of problems. So just kind of going to give you an example of what I was seeing when using Angular. So this maybe this works without Angular in the routing system. But basically, this kind of mucks with everything. So let's say I was here, and I have I'm just kind of show you what it looks like scrolling all the way down to item four. So I have these four items, and I want to jump to them. And that's what Scroll Spy does. It's supposed to navigate to those set of items. So I click this uh, list item two, pound with an href, and I go to a new page. A page you can't find, so it goes back to our home page here. So if I go back to controls, basically everything does the same thing. And that doesn't really work out too well. I tried changing these hrefs to different different types of navigation and was not successful. So maybe missing something here with the Bootstrap and Angular navigation. But I've uh, done this kind of thing before. So I was going to show you a, a different way of doing this. It's actually a little simpler. Um, you know, you can go look at the tutorial for Scroll Spy to see if it works for you. Uh, but right now, just to remind you, this is I'm using beta version 2, so maybe something's changed uh, or will change in the near future. But let me show you the control that I built that pretty much does the same thing. Uh, looks similar, um, basically took the same kind of concept. And just kind of note, because these need to be wrapped, uh, I wrapped this in a, a, a full-length uh, grid, and which gives you a little bit of padding. Added the, the row in there, which takes out the padding, and then added, added a column size 4 and a column, which has its own padding. So that's why you see the padding. That's kind of how it's wrapped up here. And I have this list group with a sticky top. That's this group right here. And then this long list of items here in this column, which looks the same as the other Scroll Spy uh, example that I showed you. In order to get this to work, we don't need a lot of markup other than uh, I don't have any accessibility classes in here. We'll add those back in. But basically, we have these uh, anchor tags here, and they're, on, they're clicking to a method, which is passing in an object. And this is a nice feature of uh, Angular that you can use. Uh, you can do a pound item um, and an item one here that matches this item here. Uh, and it's going to pass this as an element. So basically it's taking this H4 element, it's passing it in, and we can use a scroll into view uh, function that will actually scroll this item here, this header item, into view. And then we can position that scrolling in order to make it look correct. So let's uh, show you how we do that. So we go to this in view class right here, passed in an element, and we typed it as any. And we just type in le scroll into view and we do behavior of smooth and let's click on that so we go down the scroll item of two and block start which is the top of the block and inline start which is basically the farthest to the left so with that simple function here we can basically scroll any of these items into view very easily without a lot of uh, semantic markup so other than the, the accessibility stuff that you'd use, you would really not need to add much more than just making sure you have this item set, you have an ID, or use the pound item one, and then pass that element into, into this item. And then that's going to scroll this item to the element that you passed in. We could put it on the P here, but I always like putting it at an element right above where you really want to go, give it, put it at the header. That would be preferable. Uh, and, and if it's possible, I would do that. Otherwise, we can put this, just put it right here, reset this, and get a similar effect. So there it goes up to item two, and this it goes up to item one. But be nicer to see that. So, so uh, that's pretty much how I built a alternative scroll spy to scroll spy it functions uh similar to the in the same way as a scroll spy control does uh needs a little less markup but you need, do need to put a little bit of javascript on the back fortunately very very simple javascript it should be really easy to duplicate and let's just look at that one more time the in view property uses the scroll into view 
And there's a couple different uh, switches you can use here. So I, I type in this function. You can look on Google, look at all the different options that you have here, and you can change the scrolling behavior as you see fit. So, all right, so I hope I've demystified, remystified, or uh, made this a little bit harder for you. I did something for you at the very least. Uh, if you have uh, comments, concerns, questions, or know how to get Bootstrap, or if you just want to comment that Bootstrap is now currently working, if it hasn't been, then that would be a good thing to hear. Comment below, subscribe if you like, and appreciate it.